Hi guys, this is Ruta Linnell coming in to give you my farewells for the Python Sys module series. Uh, I know this has been a really, really short series. It's been a little bit more of a mini series, but in all honesty, it's because there isn't a whole lot to cover with the Sys module. Um, I think I've covered uh, command line arguments. Those are going to be probably the biggest thing that you're going to be working with. But really, the Sys module is all about getting information. It's all about um, learning your environment, knowing where it is that your code is actually running. Because you'll need to know what sort of platform your code is being executed on. You'll need to know um, the version of Python that you're actually using and where or not um, these modules are being stored, um, where the Python interpreter actually is in the file system, etc., etc. So what I'm trying to tell you is that the things that you'll be using a whole lot when you're actually programming and writing some useful code or, or making a script that will actually do something for you, there aren't a whole lot of the sys module function or variable functions or variables that will actually come in all that handy for you. There is, of course, being able to know what sort of environment you're working in and uh, the command line arguments and that sort of thing. But other than that, um, this is pretty almost kind of basic stuff that really you don't need all that much stuff for. So with this video, it's kind of like a conclusion thing that uh, I wanted to let you guys know that this is going to be a short series and some of the other module series are probably going to be around this length. It's not like it's a bad thing, I'm still going to be addressing a lot of the things that I use almost all the time when I'm working with these tools and some of the things that I think would benefit you the most because there isn't a whole lot of things like looking through this online documentation uh, you can see that I'm on python.org in the document section uh, we've got the sys module here and there's plenty of stuff like see we're looking at executable and exit right now those are handy sometimes exit not all that much um, exit funk uh, flags is still there there are plenty of things that you can actually use and work with but they don't seem to have all that much usage when you're actually programming or at least trying to make something useful or willing to do what you need it to do for you. But I still want to let you guys know that they are still all out there. They still are out there in the world. They still have functions and variables that I have not covered but still exist that you have more than enough power and capability to go check out and learn by your own. Learn on, on your own by yourself. Like the python.org, the documentation, the website has plenty of examples. You can see some code snippets that I'm breezing by right now, and uh, more and more about that. There's plenty of things to be working with, but uh, with this sys module, you probably won't see me making any more video tutorials on it, but you will, of course, be seeing me be using it a lot more in the programs that we're writing together uh, in later videos and later series, that sort of thing. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this small mini-series. Uh, I think I covered a decent amount of material. I think in uh, in total this is about like an hour-long playthrough, a playlist anyway. So there are a couple things that you guys can be using. There's a lot of things to like learn here, definitely, but it's nothing humongous. Of course, it's not going to be like an, a typical 75 video series or even like an 100 video series like Batch or something else or some of the Python stuff that I've already done. But anyway, again, thank you very much for watching this series. It'd be really, really awesome if you guys actually felt like subscribing, wanted to see more of my content, give me a little bit of motivation to keep making things for you guys. Um, I, trust me, I want to get um, plenty of more modules out there. Of course, I'm going to be doing the OS module that's very similar to Sys. I'll be looking at RE and regular expressions. Uh, I will very likely get into Colorama, Subprocess, Pyramico, a lot of other Python modules that I want to address, but it is just a matter of me finding time for it, but the more people sort of like telling me, hey man, I really do want to see this, please keep it on your mind, please keep it on your agenda, please keep it on your to-do list, to -do list anyway, that's going to keep giving me more and more of a mindset to try and find time for it. Because I am a student, I am plenty busy, but these tutorial series are one of my favorite things to do, especially if I get in the groove and in the right mindset for it. Uh, like, I spent... Um, this whole morning, creating this entire video series on um, the Sys module. I have not slept or taken any breaks. I have just pum pummeled right through them, one after the other, and that has felt great. I feel very accomplished after I finish a lot of these. So, uh, again, I've said this plenty of times. It'd be awesome if you could subscribe, like, favorite, um, 
share with other people, share with some friends that you might think are interested in computer science and programming and that sort of things. Check out my website. Check out nullshell.com. Uh, there's a forum there that you guys can uh, connect with and talk about code on with other cool people. It hasn't got a whole lot of traction yet. I'm still kind of waiting for it to pick up. If it will, I don't know for sure just yet. I, I know I need to make a lot more content for you guys and gather some more numbers. But hey, this is only the beginning, and with this this information on modules, there's a lot you can do with a single language, and once I'll be looking at more and more languages after that, and I hope to build something really, really awesome for you guys. Thanks again, though, and I'll talk to you in a later video. Adios.